Hi, I'm Wilma Hollis for Life Speak for Living, and I want to encourage you today with the phrase, as they went. Are you waiting for God, or is God waiting for you? In the book of Luke, chapter 17, there were 10 lepers who noticed that Jesus was afar off. So they shouted to him and said, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. They wanted to be cleansed. What Jesus didn't say is almost as important as what he did say. He didn't say, come over here and I'll pray a great prayer for you. You will feel a jolt and be healed. He didn't say that. He also didn't say, come and let me touch your forehead. When the lepers asked Jesus to heal them, Jesus simply said, go show yourselves to the priest. At that point, nothing about their physical condition had changed. Leprosy is a very contagious disease. As a result, lepers were quarantined from the rest of society. They lived in what was known as lepers' colonies. According to the laws and customs of that time, when a person was believed to be cured or cleansed of leprosy, they had to first go show themselves to the priest to be examined. If they passed the examination, the priest declared them clean the leper was then allowed to re-enter society. On the contrary, if a leper presented himself to the priest without evidence of healing, they could be put to death for exposing others to the disease. Now, if one of us had been one of those lepers and Jesus said, go show yourselves to the priest, we probably would have said, show ourselves to the priest, like this? Maybe we would have said, what do you mean show ourselves to the priest? You haven't done anything yet. But you know what those 10 lepers said? Nothing. Instead, the scripture says, as they went, they were cleansed. Despite the apparent danger of going to the priest without any sign of change, they went. Those lepers acted on Jesus' words in the face of contradiction. That's faith in action. That's real faith simply acting on the word of God that you believe. The lepers asked for healing. Jesus gave them these words, go show yourselves to the priest. After that, they didn't stand there and wait for evidence. They believed Jesus' words, so they acted on what he said. And so it was, as they went, they were healed. What if they had never went? Basically, nothing would have changed for them. Would they have said, Jesus' word doesn't work? Would they have stopped believing him? What about you? Have you been waiting instead of wanting? Have the answers to your prayers been sent, but remained undelivered to your life because you haven't made a move? When your actions are consistent with the word of God that you believe, that's what I call wanting. It's in the winting that prayers are answered. It's in the winting that your physical eyes begin to see the pictures your spirit has been painting for your future. It's in the winting that you provide an example of faith for others to follow. Is there something you've asked God to do? Is there some place you desire to reach in your life? Don't wait. Do what the lepers did. Start winting. For Life Speak for Living, I'm Wilma Hollis encouraging you to life speak. Live in faith every day. Stay positive, encouraging, and kind. Thanks for watching.